Hi everyone, welcome to the fifth episode of Stash Buster series I'm working on. Um, today I'm going to share with you some of the things that I've been working on and what I finished. I haven't really gotten a lot done, uh, but first before I get started I wanted to say thank you for everyone for hanging in there and staying with me, uh, even though I haven't been posting any stash buster or craft videos here lately. Um, I was sick for quite a while, still not feeling my best, but a lot better than I was. Um, the weather was crazy, and those of you who know us, you kind of know the whole deal. You know, life just kind of gets in the way. And I'm sorry if I'm <laughs> looking distracted, I'm just watching my daughter pace back and forth <laughs> by the table behind me. Um, and I don't want to take up a whole lot of your time today, um, mainly because, you know, there's a whole lot going on yet, and I just wanted to get a video out there for you guys. And in my Canada mug that I got from Paper Speaks, hi Mel, I have vanilla caramel tea today, and you can find me on Instagram, um, I'll have a link below, and um, also um, Facebook the Wicked Designs group, but I'm really not active on that. Um, I find Facebook is just kind of a hard avenue for me to get into right now. Um, but yeah, I wanted to thank all my subscribers. I have some new ones, and thank you, thank you very much for subbing. And I have um, been busy working on Ravelry as well. I just started an account there. Actually, I started one um, last year, I think. But I signed up, but I never did anything with my page, and here for the last couple days I've been starting to add some things to my page, but um, that's a slow growing process too. Um, yeah, so I guess let's get started. Um, for We'll start with my um, works in progress, what I've been working on. I started, um, in this bag, I started a shawl that I wanted to try the pattern, but um, not quite sure what I'm going to do with this yet. If I want to, I'd probably just throw it in a bin for our gifts. Um, it's in the color Amethyst from Red Heart. And I'm not sure if you can see. It's, um, it's a skull pattern. Hopefully you can see that. If not, let me know. I will um, and try to get some pictures posted of it for you. But... That's as far as I got, it's just the very tip of the bottom, and then I kind of stopped working on it. Um, I had some other things going on I wanted to finish first. And then in this bag I have another thing that I started, which is a knit-along. Um, those of you know that I do get a lot of patterns from um, the Crochet Crowd, they have a crochet along and a knit-along, and it's to make a mystery blanket. I have actually fallen behind on it, um, only because of my daughter's birthday coming up and I really wanted to get some things made for her. But this is week one square, and you had to make four of those, so I do have all four of those. And these are knitted, not crocheted, so that's the one that I'm doing, and they're not actually doing a video for that. And second week's is actually this, and it is quite small and it's black, so it's really hard to see. But when you stretch it out, I think you can see, there you go, or make it, you can see some of the color and some of the work. Um, there's actually um, faux cabling in this one, um, but it's more cabling than faux, it's just the way that it appears, it looks more like a faux stitch. And there's four of those as well, and that was for second week. And the third week is this square here, and you have to do eight of those. Now, I only did one. And the, um, I do have the next clue ready to go. It's just, like I said, it's been put on hold because I want to make sure I get everything done because we do have a few birthdays this month and I want to get everything made for them. And there is a work in progress, last work in progress that I've got going on. Um, I do still have my blanket, the interlock tennis and crochet one, but I haven't touched that one at all. Um, and I have a lot more plans for projects I want to work on. This is uh, Red Hearts. Uh, I love this yarn in the color Firecracker. And that's the colorway there. And my 
sure to pick this out. And these are going to be her socks. I have that she knows about them, so you don't have to worry about that. Um, that is the one, and this is another, and these are going to be long ones. Um, I'm not sure how high I want to take them, but I'll probably go as far as I can um, with the skin without adding a new one on. And I do try to work two at a time. I work from both ends of the same, um, let me untangle the threads here. Both ends of the skinny yarn from the center and then from the outside. And another thing I did was I made a bunch of, um, stitch markers. This is just one set, so as I use them, I will probably share them with you. Um, I didn't bring them with me today. And these ones actually, the ones that slide across your needle, and these ones actually hook in to your stitch where you're at. Um, but, yep, yeah, that's pretty much it for the works in progress. Um, I did have a bunch more, but I kind of... I finished those ones, so I've been trying to press through and get as much done as possible. Um, there's another one. Um, for finished objects now, I'll move on. I did make um, a beanie hat for my sister, but she has that, so I don't have that. I do, however, have a picture of it, and I'm going to post that onto my Ravelry and probably to my Instagram. So if you are follow, if you're on Ravelry, let me know and I'll leave you my link. I know a lot of people that watch me pretty much probably aren't on Ravelry. Um, but yeah, I finished that and that's going to be, I'll be having that posted soon. And I know a lot of you wanted to see what else I finished. So the big thing is the sweater. And it is my first one I have ever finished. And I would try it on, but it's just too cold for me. <laughs> um, it is longer, so it's more like a tunic. Um, that you could wear with a tank underneath over, you know, your tights or your jeans or whatever. But I thought this would be perfect for either over, um, like a tank dress or, um, your bathing suit for the summer. But like I said, it is quite long. And I did make this out of, um, baby yarn. It's super soft and it's not as heavy as cotton would be. So, it's a nice weight. Um, but yeah, I like that, and I do have, uh, like I said, all these, i have pictures of all these on Instagram and on my, um, Ravelry. I'm not quite sure how to add them in here yet, but I'm gonna look into it. And I have two more finished projects, and it is the ankle socks that I made for my daughter. So these are also gonna be birthday present and this is the 58 Chevy pattern um, and it's not really a pattern as it's a stitch um, I just used a plain vanilla sock with um, yeah I can't think of them I can't think of the type of heel I used it's um it's just the basic heel it's the heel flap and gusset and then the um, stitch around the top where your leg would be is actually called the pattern is uh the stitch pattern is called 58 chevy which i thought was really pretty and she liked so she picked that one out and then these are the pedal tube socks there is no heel on these um this way they could fit anybody any size um and i had her try them on and she said they're quite comfortable um so and this is actually a really quick way to make socks, I think, um, so if you're making them for children or um, people that you're not quite sure of the length of their foot, this would probably be a really good way to go. Um, depending on the size, uh, the type of yarn you use would, you know, tell you if you want to do just a plain uh, knit stitch along where you would put your foot, so along at least long back side. Um, but this is the pedal stitch, and I had her try these on and wear these for a while too, and 
these are kind of if you crochet they're like a, almost almost like a bobble stitch um, but she said that they're comfortable they don't aggravate her feet at all for you know having the pattern on the bottom so I guess it all depends on the sensitivity of your feet but yeah that's pretty much it the two pairs of socks completely finished um, I did finish um, my husband's socks but I think you guys seen those already and um, I do have a few new items that I have picked up. There's a couple skins of yarn that I picked up at Hobby Lobby um, for upcoming projects. One of them was uh, the firecracker yarn that you had seen for my daughters. Um, the yarn I picked up for my sister's hat, which I don't have to show you, um, and then two more skeins. Plus, uh, my sister had picked up some material she had bought, and she thought it would be great for some project bags, so and she wanted one, so she bought enough for me to make me one. So I have enough to make probably four different types of uh, four different kinds of bags. So I don't know when I'm gonna get to that. Depends on when I feel like pulling my sewing machine out. Um, yeah, so that's probably pretty much it for today. I'm not quite sure exactly when I'll be back with another one. But as soon as I get some more projects done and I have a little bit of time to jump on and say hello, I will be sure to do that and. Hopefully be able to keep you updated with what's going on. And if you like this series, please let me know below so I know to continue it. And I'll talk to y'all later. Have a wonderful day. Bye.